Okay, hello, we are live from the UK Games Expo. And I guess we'll just wait for some people to come on in the chat. Once you are in the chat, do let us know. So I can take you around the show, show you all the best things to be seen in the gaming world. So we're just going to take in the sights at the moment. Let's see if we can get past here. I think we're going to go over. We're going to just wander around a little bit. See what we can see. And we got some wonderful models here. Wow, look at these. These are from Sari Asa. So let's just take a look at some of these close ups here. Plantation Mansion. It's interesting. These look like maybe uh, Second World War buildings. All right, uh, moving on. We have our friends at Big Potato Games. We, of course, say hello to them every year. So there we go, we've got OK Play, one of our channel's favourite games. Becky! Becky! Hello, how are you? Oh, live on Twitch. Oh, hello! Hi, hi Twitch, I guess. <laughs> and then we've got our 20 second showdown demo area, and that's one of our brand new games, and it's like a super fast and frantic party game that you play in two teams. And then we've got our big potato van with a little shop as well. Excellent. So, yeah, I was going to say, if you want to see, this is one of our new games as well, which Go is it. the Blockbuster game. Right. Um, and it's a movie party game where basically it involves lots of sort of mini games in a game. There's a bit of uh, acting it out, quoting films, and describing films in one word. So, wow, it's quite a complex choice. wee game, but it's good. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries. No, is there anything else you want to know? Or? Uh, we'll be popping around as, as yeah. the day goes on, so cool. that's cool. Thank yeah, you very much. No worries. See you Bye. Bye. So there we go, we got Becky from Big Potato Games there. Hello, Saviki Boy, welcome. Ah, here we go, we have Vesuvius Media here and Dwarves Fall, which of course has been a very popular game on the channel. We'll take a look at what is going to be their new game coming out, which is Monstro City. And that is looking very impressive. Hello Edo, welcome. So yeah, let's just have a quick look at those miniatures. Zoom on in. Don't they look Cool. Are these all pre-painted in the game? No, no, unfortunately not. No, so you have to paint them up yourself? You have to paint them That's fine, that's the challenge we enjoy on the channel. So here we go, this is Scale 75 stand. Let's take a look at some of their wonderful miniatures, all painted up. I know you guys really enjoy Scale 75 paints. So hopefully you can see these nice and clearly. Let's come on down to these are miniatures from Born Frontiers. And we've also got then the Smog Riders. And there you go. Wouldn't you just enjoy having all of those paints? So, Edo, you like that vehicle, do you? That's a brand new release, I believe. These are from the Fallen Frontiers game. Look at the uh, the rider there. I think that's up your street, isn't it? So we'll just say hello to Jose. Hello, Jose. You're live on Twitch. How are you doing today? Good. good. <laughs> Having a good show? Yeah. 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 Uh, one of the channel chat there was just saying he really likes the new vehicle for uh, Fallen Frontiers. Which... There we go. Take a look at these. Just let that zoom in slightly there. 
It looks like Hira. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? We're saying hello to you. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Thanks. This is the phalanx. Oh, that's beautiful, yeah. I'm more coming. More coming, more coming. Excellent. Have a good show then. Thank See you, you later. Bye. Bye. So you like the look of that then, guys, yeah? So we'll keep on going round. All right, uh, what do we have over here? We have Crooked Dice. Uh, if you remember the, uh, the buggy that I was working on, these are the guys who produce it. Let's see if we can get on in and take a look at their awesome range of miniatures. So what do we have here? I think it's from their recent Kickstarter. This is Children of the Field. You might notice quite a few of these characters are inspired by uh, television and film. Take a look further down here. Don't they look amazing? Oh, look, here we go. Oh, here's some nice miniatures. Let's take a look at these. How's that? Let's take a look at some of these down here. Uh, I don't know if green stuff worlds at the expo. That's why uh, I don't think so. I didn't see them on the list. So this is Oath Sworn. Here we go then. So we got some nice uh, Imperial Knights. Wow, all the bling on this one. And something a bit more colourful over on this side. You have to paint everything, Edo, don't you? Oh, I like these um, Eldar Titans, they're good. That's it, yeah. Restraint and Edo, those are two words that don't go together, do they? This is Warlord Games. This is Strontium Dog. It's, uh... Are any of you guys familiar with the 2000 AD comic? So this is Phalanx Games. And... There's a game I want to see here, this is it. But they've already got press in, so we'll give them a bit of space. Right, models here. So of course it's the Harry Potter and Batman games. Let's just go and take a look. And we got the, uh, the tumbler there, we got the bat pod. And we of course have the iconic Dark Knight. We've got Catwoman's butt. And we've got the various packs that they are doing. Over on this side we've got the Joker, Joker's squad, Harvey Dent. So this is everything from the Dark Knight movie. We've got Talia Al Ghul there and Bane. 
let's see if we got some Harry Potter stuff. Here we go. Wow, look at that. Look at the flames on that. I hope you guys are seeing this as, as good as I am. But there you go, you can look at the, uh, the entire first hall here. Okay, so that gives you an idea. It is absolutely crowded. All right, let's carry on. Ah, brain crack games. We, of course, know these guys well. We were recently playing Dead and Breakfast at the weekend. So we will be coming back to say hello to them. Uh, of course, this is Farsight. This is Parabellum. I'll just do a quick pan of the... Uh... Doesn't that look amazing? Let's... Go up to the rampart. You know, uh, we can see Jonathan and Philip in the back there doing a tutorial. I think we're going to have to come back to them. Is uh, Fiendborn? the creators arc sector so if you enjoy escape the dark castle this is the sci-fi version of it hello snowyak welcome so we got quite a few people set out here playing the game hopefully they have better dice rolls than i do anywhere that i can see miniatures in the case that's where i want to go here we go Scooching down. Hopefully you can see those clearly enough. They're looking nice. This might be from uh, Village Attacks, I think. It's Viking pillow fighting. Oh, I'd love to have a go at this. Are you going to put on a demo for us? Yeah, Excellent. Okay. Here you go, guys. You're going to get a live demo here. What more do you want? <laughs> this is going to be in everyone's Christmas stocking uh, filler list here. Yeah, but we're getting, we're getting a lot of claps here. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yep, I can see the three. Is it Philip? Hello, Philip. Hello. You're live on Twitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to our tavern. This is the Bar Pick Tavern. We're, of course, here representing our game, uh, Bar Pick, the adventure party game. Uh, what we have here is a collection of group activities combined with a vindictive revenge system in the form of item cards. And very, very exciting for this afternoon is we'll actually be launching our Kickstarter live 
Bar Pick After Hours, which if you played the original Bar Pick and you liked it, we'll be introducing the next version of that game. This time it's an added edge, because what we're saying is that when the good pigs are away, the bad pigs break into play. So get ready at 4 o'clock this afternoon, we'll be launching our villain pack. It's going to introduce a lot more of a vindictive system, more evil characters. You might find a little bit more about the lore that's uh, represented in this tavern, and it's definitely going to be a good time. Still continues. <laughs> we, we still have. Continue so, could I ask you to do now the live performance of the cat song? Okay. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Jono? Mm -hmm. I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I, I just want to hug all of them. And I can't can hug every cat. Can't hug every cat. Anyways, I am a cat lover and I love to run. I'm sorry I'm thinking about cats again. I really love all cats. I really love all cats. They're thinking, oh my god, laughing so hard now. That's the Dutch culture. Guys, uh, there's a countdown clock at kickstarter.barpig.eu. At 4 p.m., that'll refresh and you go straight to the Kickstarter page itself. There you go, guys. Live. We'll see you at four o'clock. Thanks very much. See you, man. So there you go. I hope that was entertaining for you. <laughs> wonder, wonder, wonder. Ah, this is Aries Games. Right, this is who I want to see. We'll be seeing them later on. They have the Battlestar Galactica miniature skirmish game. Uh, Dogfighting in the Colonial Fleet. Let's wander around here. So in fact, here we go, we've got some miniatures to be able to take a look at. So what we got? We've got uh, Colonial Vipers. We've got some Cylon Heavy Raiders. Colonial Raptors. And then this is the base game. So you've got a Raider. And a Viper. Vipers for the win, says Pascal, absolutely. But if you don't want that, this is quite cool. This is tripods and triplanes. So this is using their Wings of Glory rule system, but set within a sort of HG Wells or War of the Worlds settings. So we've got tripods. Aren't they beautiful? Hello, we're back live from the UK Games Expo. We'll wait for a few of you guys to turn up in the stream. So I'm just going to wander around now until the battery runs out. When you're in the chat, do say hello. Ah, we've got River Horse Games here. Of course, we're big fans of them. Highlander, the Labyrinth with a Dark Crystal. And of course, we've got Pacific Rim coming out in due course. All right, we'll continue along. We'll go and try and find Atlantis miniatures. Uh, we've got some terrain here. I remember these guys from last time. This is really interesting. So this is cardboard terrain. Let's take a proper look. Doesn't that look amazing? So this would be perfect for games like Infinity. Oh, and we've got a medieval set up here now. Isn't that like stunning? Let's go and take a talk to Dan at Atlantis Miniatures. Hey Dan, are you ready to go on Twitch? 
<laughs> How are we doing? You alright? Yeah, not bad, mate. You? Yeah, good, very good. And the show's going good for you? Yeah, it's a good show. It's going really well. Yeah. Got a chaotic back around here. They're trying to work out, but we're getting there. <laughs> so, what's uh, the kudos on the uh, yes. fantasy uh, mention there? That's the big one. We're absolutely over the moon with that. that we get to release them. Um, yeah. Really quite excited for it. They're in production, getting ready to go. Fighting Fantasy Fest, Fighting Fantasy Fest Three. We have a very limited amount available, so come to us, run to us because we will sell out. I'm sure people are trying to grab hold of already and secure their boxes. We're like first come first serve, and then we have got the Kickstarter coming, which is slightly after that one, the Fighting Fantasy one, which will deliver about a year later. Okay. Well, uh, maybe sooner. We'll see. We'll get on. And how do you, what else do? Wood Elves are doing really well. Over the moon with the Wood Elves, we've got some cool stuff coming. I don't know if you can see this. We just released this guy, Lizard Mount. Um, 115 mil tall with a spellcaster on top, so that's quite nice. <laughs> and of course, uh, dwarves and the mythology range. Uh, yeah, they're all out selling today. We've got the mythology on the end. Um, we had a really nice uh, guy called Patrick Harland, uh, dabbling in miniatures, sent some painted miniatures. Said Dan. Take these, mate, put them on the stand. I was like, you're a gentleman, sir. So we, we're showing off those today as well. And a lot of the stuff you've seen before, a lot of the uh, consistent sort of foundations. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a look at the merch. Yeah, brilliant. Stuff. Yeah, cheers, thank you. Alright, so here we go. Uh, of course, you guys have seen many of these miniatures before on the channel. But we'll go and take a look at some of the painted ones now. Let's take a look here. Don't they look amazing? And we'll take a look at the Yeti. Yeah, looking great. All right, oh, well, let's just look at the Chimera because we've got the mythology range here. That was just recently launched. And of course, just in the case there, you can see the Hippogriff. We've got Pegasus there, we've got the Centaur, we've got the Minotaurs. We know that the uh, Snick from the Simeon Collective is working on a Minotaur and Centaur diorama. So we're looking forward to that when it launches. All right, let's carry on. Ah, this is Renegade Game Studio. Clank, of course, yes. This is a good fun game. And now they've got Clank in space as well. What we have here, Lantern's Dice, Architects of the West Kingdom, Revolution from Stephen Fell. So some nice releases there. Aha, there is Braincraft Games. I knew it was somewhere in the middle, somewhere. Let's see if we can say hello to Lewis. So of course here's Farsight, which we've enjoyed on the channel. I'm looking amazing with all the uh, miniatures painted up. Let's take a closer look. And that's looking great. And we've got Dead and Breakfast, which of course we've been enjoying on the channel. So, yeah, lots to see. We've got uh, Venice there, and I think that's Ragusta. Yeah. Ah, maybe I can grab hold of. I think that's David there from River Horse. We could take a look here 
This of course is Labyrinth. And then over on this side, we have the Dark Crystal. Let's go and take a look at Gale Force now. We can look at uh, Star Trek Ascendancy. We were playing this recently. This is a really good, fun game. Federation, Romulans, Klingons, everything you would expect. I heard good things about this game, Fog of Love, so I'm intrigued to see what it's about. Romantic comedy as a board game. Wow. That would be something I can imagine. Excuse me. I'm live on Twitch at the moment. Is there somebody who can explain the game to me? Yeah. So, uh, this is Pokemon. Uh, it's a two player game that's based on a romantic comedy. Uh, you're going to play the two different. Uh, people in a relationship. It's about the start of your relationship and how uh, that relationship evolves. Uh, you're going to play through certain scenes and you've kind of got your own goals. It's possible at the end of the game for you to both win, for one of you to win slightly more than the other person, for one of you to win and one, one of you to lose, um, or for you both to lose. So it's kind of cooperative but also competitive going on at the same time. Um, you just play through different scenes, so it might be like these guys. You might be, uh, your clothes make me look great. So you've just found out your partner is wearing your clothes. Um, and then it's how you react to that. It's all secret decisions. Um, it's gonna affect your traits and how you are as a person at the end of the game. You have secret goals that you can't reveal to your partner. And that, uh, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Yeah, about 45 minutes to an hour, but there's different scenarios in the box. Plus we have extra scenarios that you can add on at later dates when you wanna uh, try something new. Um, yeah. Okay. And um, how many players can it take? It's just a two-player game. Just a two-player game. Yeah. We're also developing something along the same lines with the same system, but this is Midlife Crisis. That's going to be our next game. It's just in test at the minute. Um, that's a four-player game, though. Four-player only, where people play in pairs. Each pair is one character, and they play the reason and the unconscious uh, uh, in that, and they're making decisions together, but they have different goals of their own that their partner has to guess. So. Let's see if we can find somebody to talk to. Hi, could you tell, talk us through the game at all? Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Eh? So, so, so you're live on Twitch. Uh, okay, live, no live, pressure. Live, no yeah, pressure, yeah, yeah. it's gonna happen first. Cool, so this, this is Bushido, if you don't know, it's a, a fantasy inspired Japanese samurai monk style skirmish game, playing on a two by two board, just in the process of getting a new version out. So that was hopefully gonna launch here, but now it's delayed till the 1st of July. Um, well established, like I said, skirmish, low entry level, beautiful models, uh, and very thematic in gameplay. So, scenario driven game as well. Okay, uh, okay and so sort of tell us a little bit about how the actual mechanics work on it. What would be a typical turn? So, uh, it's an I go, you go activation. So, the turn sequence is uh, whoever's won the initiative, his initiative roll, gets to activate a model, and then your opponent activates a model. The little uh, twitch is that both model, uh, you have two actions in a turn, but you it's action by action motivation uh, activation. So you do one action, I do one action. Uh, once all the models are exhausted, that would be the end of the turn. The combat mechanic's quite cool in that you do a blind bid for your defense and attack dice, uh, and all the models always fight. So whether you're the defender or the attacker, you exchange blows in, in the fight all the time. It's kind of a, a good blind bidding system with the dice, though, which works quite well. Uh, Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. No. I'll be back later on. Cool. Thanks, mate. Just <laughs> so, to take a look. So, this is Red Alert. I believe it's by Richard Borg.
Can I give you a two minute blurb? Yeah, absolutely. If you, or you're live on Twitch. I'm live on Twitch, yeah? I'm yeah. be live on Twitch. All right. Tell us all about uh, Red Alert. Yeah, hello, my name's Paula. I'm here with PSC Games today and we're demoing Red Alert. As you can see, I've given these guys a rule explanation for about five to ten minutes and they're already playing the game without any rules questions. But the game is full of depth and strategy. It uses the command and colour system, which is designed by Richard Borg, if you're familiar with Memoir 44, with Battle Law, uh, The Great War, the original command and colours died by GMT, then you know how to play this game. Um, if you're in Birmingham, you're watching this, come on down to the show. We've got a massive discount price for you. Tell them Paul has sent you. Um, yeah, it's a great game, full of loads of content. Yeah, okay. Battle Law. Excellent, thank you very much, Paula. We'll see you later. All right. So I'm thinking we'll uh, bring it to an end now. We'll just start taking photographs. So thank you very much for tuning on in or watching the replay. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the channel again soon. Obviously, Tabletop Tuesday, every Tuesday night from 7 o'clock BST or the weekend XL streams either a Saturday or a Sunday, just check the events page for details. So until next time, bye for now.